Before I get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that over 80% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. If you do watch my content and enjoy it, please consider subscribing as it means a lot. Anyways, let's get into Cedar Point. We are here at Cedar Point. Um, I haven't been here in over a year and I'm really excited to get back on some of my favorite attractions. So we are gonna go back to Frontier Town to get some access passes for those rides and I'll see you after that. We just got off of Magnum. That was amazing. The airtime was ridiculous. That honestly might be my favorite aero now. Oh my god, that was amazing. We just got our Steel Vengeance access passes, and now we're backtracking to go to Cedar Creek Mine Ride to pick up a credit for me since I haven't ridden this yet. We just got off of Cedar Creek Mine Ride and, re and we rode in the back row. Um, the final helix is intense. Everything else is kind of boring and pointless. But the only reason I did ride it was because it's a credit and I didn't ride it last year. So I'm now up to coaster count 89. We just got off of Pipe Scream. Um, I feel like that's better than Surf Dog at Kings Island, but they feel pretty much the same. Uh, they're not too fun, they're not bad at all. I just wrote it for the credit. And yes, in case you're wondering, I do consider those to be credits, but that's a topic for another video. And we have Steel Vengeance access passes in about five minutes, so we're gonna go hit up that. We just got off of Skyhawk. That was so much fun. That might be my my favorite flat ride. It's definitely a must do if you come to Cedar Point. That thing is so much fun. We just got off of Steel Vengeance. That was awesome. I'm not sure where I rank it now, but it definitely rose in my rankings. I did ride in the back row, so that definitely helped. And guys, this is a seriously awesome ride. I definitely underrated it. We just got off of Maverick. That is an absolutely incredible launch coaster. Um, I don't know where it placed in the parks lineup, but it uh, ranks very high. I will have a full video ranking every single roller coaster at Cedar Point. But back to Maverick. The airtime is insane. The turns are out of this world intense. I overall definitely recommend Maverick. It's a fantastic coaster. That's going to wrap up our day at Cedar Point. However, that is our first day of the weekend. We will be back tomorrow with Fastlane Plus, so that will definitely enhance our day. Anyways, I had a really fun time here. I'm excited to come back tomorrow, and on screen you can see my total ride tout. We are here at Cedar Point, day two of the weekend. I do have Fastlane Plus today, so hopefully we, we will get more rides than we got yesterday. However, we had a lot of fun yesterday, so let's see if we can beat that. Yeah. 
we just got off of Top Thrill Dragster in the back row, first train of the day. That was so much fun. It's so intense. The launch is amazing. Airtime going over the top hat is amazing. It's so much fun. It's definitely a great ride. <laughs> just got off of Steel Vengeance. That was awesome. We rode in the very front row. Airtime's great. Um, not my favorite RMC, but definitely one of my favorite coasters. And before that, we rode Millennium Force, I, but I did forget to update you guys on that. Uh, we rode Millennium Force in the back. It's a really fun coaster. Nothing too special, and it's a little bit rattly now, but still very fun. I recommend these two. We just got off of Magnum in the back row. That was a lot of fun. It was definitely rougher than my ride yesterday, but that can be expected when riding an arrow in the back. The airtime is still fantastic. Um, I would definitely say that this is one of the most underrated coasters I've ever ridden. And now it's unfortunately starting to rain, so we're gonna go get lunch, and hopefully the weather will clear up then, because there is definitely some more stuff that I would like to ride. We just got off of Val Raven. That was a lot of fun. I rode on the back edge seat. Um, the airtime's good on both of the drops. It's a little bit intense. There is a strong rattle to it, but it didn't really take away from the ride experience. It's still a lot of fun. Um, it now has just started raining again, so we're gonna go look for an open attraction because things are shutting down left and right. <laughs> We just got off of Millennium Force front row. That was so much fun. The original Giga Coaster definitely still holds up with today. Um, I think I prefer Orion by a little bit, but that does not mean Millennium Force is a bad ride at all. Millennium Force is still amazing. We just got off of Raptor. Um, I still have the opinion that I had last year that this ride is really overrated. Um, the inversions are really intense though, and it's overall a decent ride, not bad at all. Yup, you guys probably guessed it, I forgot to close off this vlog. But before I end it, I just want to talk about how Cedar Point is handling the pandemic. On the midways, everybody was doing a really good job of social distancing and wearing their mask. Well, let me get to that. A few dozen people would not wear their mask correctly, with it either being on their chin or just below their nose. It didn't really bother me too much since I always try to stay as far away from people as I can, but I definitely know people who would be affected by that. And as far as I saw, the employees didn't really seem to care that people were wearing their masks incorrectly. They didn't ask them to put it on right or anything. However, those were just the Midway employees. The ride 
operators were a complete different story. I unfortunately don't have any footage of this, so you guys are just going to have to listen to my explanation. There was a group of about four to five people standing in the Steel Vengeance line who were social distancing properly. However, they were not wearing their mask correctly. It was below their nose. And then boom, a ride operator was escorting that group of people out of the line for not wearing their mask correctly. As far as masks being mandatory throughout the park, the employees were pretty much all or nothing about it. Well, that's going to do it for my vlog at Cedar Point. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. Anyways, I'll see you next time on Hang Time Thrills.